Okay, so you need to edit the lodging amount on your orders or your voucher for some reason. Uh, not every situation is the same, so I'm going to run through a couple of different scenarios and hopefully one of them will apply to your situation and it can help you out. So uh, scenario one for me, uh, I'm going to Nellis. Uh, I tried to make my lodging reservations on base through DTS as we're supposed to do and DTS informed me that there are no rooms available on base and I was provided a non-availability number. Uh, this automatically raised my per diem rates. So remember per diem is lodging plus your meals and incidental expenses. It raised them to the max for that area for that time of year. So um, let's say I made a hotel reservation off base through DTS as I'm supposed to do, but the nightly rate isn't what is reflected on, in this case, my orders, but it would work the same for a voucher and I want to edit that amount. So I'm gonna to go to authorizations orders. I'm gonna click the edit link for the order I'm gonna play with here. And I'll go to expenses, per diem entitlements. And there you can see, uh, as I said, I'm receiving 102 in lodging a night. There's the 102 of lodging allowed and there's the max rate of 102 in lodging for that area. So let's say my hotel is actually 100 a night. So what I want to do is I want to update this number. How do I do that? Oh, I will show you how I'm going to do it. I will click the first edit link there for the 5th of July in this case. Now up here on the calendar where it says values apply through I'll go ahead and make it through the end of the TDY. Uh, on that last night, it's not going to give me lodging anyway because it knows, DTS knows, I'll be home, so it's fine. And I will change this lodging block, or the amount of the lodging block, from 102 to 100. And I will scroll all the way to the bottom and click Save These Entitlements. Now, as you can see, they have been updated to 100. The lodging allowed amount is 100. That's important, by the way. Yet, we see the max lodging rate was 102. Also, real quick, if I go to the preview page, kind of another way of checking this is when I scroll down here to the per diem entitlement section under lodging MNIE, total lodge is 300. Three nights at exactly $100 a night equals $300. So. I did that one correctly. So next up, scenario two. Now in this next scenario, uh, I'm gonna send myself to Luke Air Force Base, but let's say they, uh, they have rooms available, or so I thought, and I got there, and I couldn't stay on base, but I didn't have the non-availability letter, or, or number rather, in DTS. And anyway, now I have to update my lodging amount, but let me show you the, uh, the hurdle you're going to face here. So I'll go to expenses and per diem entitlements. So here's the deal. DTS thinks I'm staying on base, and there's nothing in DTS telling it uh, I couldn't stay on base. So while the max lodging rate for that area, the Phoenix area, around the time of year is $91, you'll see the, the amount of lodging I'm allowed is 60 lodging cost is 60 which is currently as of July 2017 basically the, the standard um, Air Force lodging uh, nightly rate so let's say I wanted to apply what I did in scenario one so this uh, TDY is July 19th through July 15th so I'll click that edit link I'll go through value applies through make it July 15th and let's say I'm off base paying the max lodging rate, 91 a night. Notice down here it says quarters available. Well, I noticed that checked. So I think I'm a pretty smart guy. I'm going to uncheck that because that would probably keep me from being able to do anything up here ultimately, or at least to save it. And I'm going to scroll on down. Now, by the way, I edited the first day. Uh, of the TDY, so that's why this meals section looks the way it 
does. If I had edited the second day, you would have seen available checked as well as these three blocks. But anyway, let me save what I just did. It's pretty similar to what I did in scenario one. I'm feeling pretty good. Look at that. 91 a day, all the way down where it should be. So I think I did what I was supposed to do. Um, but just for the heck of it, let me check the preview page out. Let's see, that's one, two, three, four, five, six days. I'll continue. I'll scroll down to M and I E, or the per diem entitlement section rather. Look at the lodging. Boy, that doesn't seem right. 360 bucks for six days. Uh, I'm not the best at math, but that does not seem to be adding up. What went wrong? So let me go back. Expenses. Per diem entitlements. Oh, that's right. Lodging allowed. Remember, I told you that part is important. So there's something I'm not doing in here to allow myself to be reimbursed the amount I'm paying, which does not exceed the max for that, that area, at least in this scenario. So let me go back to edit. Once again, values apply through. I want this to apply all the way through, so I'll make it July 15th, the last day of the TDY, understanding that on that last night I won't receive any lodging. So the amount's fine. Quarters available is not checked. Uh, I don't need to select any of this, that's fine. Obviously I'm not going to have a problem with this if I'm staying off base, that's what I want. So now I'm down to the other per diem entitlement section. What could I possibly click to make this work? How about actual lodging? Now just bear with me as I click save these entitlements and hey, check that out. There's a few changes, but where the lodging cost was 91 before, it is again, obviously, but now look at lodging allowed. That's 91, all the way down to where it ought to be. So now I can get reimbursed what I'm actually paying because of that actual lodging block I clicked, which you can see the, uh, the abbreviated code over here, the ACTL. And by the way, if you want to see it, we can go back to the preview page. And remember how that lodging piece was 360 before? Well, not anymore. Now it's 546. So it took. So anyway, I think for most scenarios you'll find yourself in, if whatever the case may be, you need to edit the lodging block, I think either my scenario one or my scenario two should cover it, even if uh, some of the details are, are different in your situation. Uh, I hope this helps out. Thanks for watching.